guys. So the other day I was going through my phone trying to clear out some shit and I found about 30 minutes worth of footage I had shot in 2013 of my very first woman cave. That is my game room for those of you that do not know. And I thought it would be super fun to splice it together and show you a tour of what once was. But yeah, just a reminder, this is from 2013, so if you hear some things and see some things that seem a little outdated, that's why. Enjoy. Hey guys, Britt here, and as you may or may not know, I recently moved to a new apartment. However, as I'm sure you can tell behind me, there is one room I've yet to pack up, and that is my uh, old woman cave. So, I'm going to do that today, but before I box it all up, tear it down, and rip into it, I wanted to make a little tour video because I haven't made it yet. So enjoy this first person tour of my woman cave. Okay. As you walk in the woman cave, the first thing you will notice is an Ocarina of Time poster that I got with one of the guides. I don't know, I was in fourth grade. I don't know which guide. Uh, here is a little mini zombie shrine of mine. A little messy. There's some remote controlled zombie goodness in there, some zombie energy drinks. An inflatable brain, plants for zombies, good stuff. Uh, you lower down a bit, and this is my reservoir of game space, meaning that this thing quickly became too full, and I realized I needed more shelving. Thus, this, that, and that, and other boxes I have in other places. So, yeah, you have some NES, Super NES, N64, Xbox. We Xbox 360, PlayStation, um, and just a array of board games I thought I needed that I bought. Right. I have not opened any of those yet for the record. Alright, and then when we stand up, you'll see my little mini Dragon Age shrine and all my Dragon Age goodness. Got some playing cards, got the tabletop games, got some books, a box. I think I ordered this off eBay. A while ago. Um, action figures, Alistair's Rose, I think that's a wallet, yeah, uh, Game Informed with Dragon Age 2. Then down here we have several of my copies. Thanks GameStop for this one by the way. Uh, I'm missing one right now because it's actually at my new place, so yeah. But anyway, I've got some inflatable swords, some tattoos I think, fair enough. Uh, more books, a letter opener, a Dragon Age bag, uh, oh, Dragon Age inflatable sword, and then I got this drawn at Emerald City Comic Con by the back room. That's me and Alistair making out. He's all like, is that a broadsword in your pocket? Oh, I guess that, I guess I would be saying that. I mean, I don't know. I might have a, probably a lady boner. But anyway, so this is just some of my Dragon Age stuff. Of course, I got the, you know, vertical poster going on. It's good shit. One level lower is my little mini Zelda shrine. The reason I'm calling all these minis is because I have a lot more stuff. <laughs> a lot more Zelda stuff in this case, but I have no room for it. So, it's a mini for now. But we have a board game. I think I actually have two of those. Yeah, I have a more board games right there. So there's the other one. Um, but Link Plushie and Ocarina I made in high school. It's just clay. But uh, yeah, my uh, teacher thought I was making a bong and I almost got suspended. Good times. Ocarina of Time soundtrack. This came when you pre-ordered the game from Kmart, I think it was. Good times. An actual fake plastic Ocarina. Right. Skyward Sword, another little plushy dude. Uh, this thing that fell, which is a Link bookmark. Oh, let's see. Manga, Majora's Mask soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, I think. Oops. This is Link and I getting married on Unicorns, another Emerald City Comic Con drawing I had done by the back room. Underneath this Ocarina. Oh, I feel so bad tearing it apart, but I have to pack it all up anyway. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, stickers. I think that's the cloth map from uh, Skyward Sword. I think the Twilight Princess one is underneath that. Um, shield candy things. Another drawing I've had made. Gosh, I, I, I could probably dig into this a lot further, but I think you get the point.
Ooh, ooh, Symphony of the Goddesses tour ticket. Good shit. You should like totally go if you can. Great recommendation. Uh, what's this? <laughs> GameStop gift card. I don't even know if I have anything on here. I might have just bought it because it was Zelda. Okay, okay, like I said, I could spend all day. Moving on. One level lower is a haphazard handheld World of Warcraft thing. Um, there's Cataclysm. Uh, I said that on purpose. Hopefully you know that. Just, just saying. Some cards. Um, I don't even really know what this is. Heroes of Azeroth starter deck. Like... I get this shit at garage sales and I can't open it. I'm sure it's really cool. Whatever it is. Yeah, let's just... There it goes. Um, got my DS, Game Boy Advance, my original Game Boy. I remember getting this bad boy for Christmas one year. It was in like a Polly Pocket box because I don't know why, but that's just how I got it. PSP, Game Gear, Game Boy Camera Printer, and Game Boy Camera... Yeah, I think I might have had other stuff in here at one point, but I think I've kind of torn into it over the years. One level lower is a little random shrine of randomness. Obviously, we got the Mario theme going on. Oh, I didn't know I had that. I have the uh, limited edition anniversary thingy. That's cool. I forgot I had that. Right on. Sweet. Got the Mario plushie. I think these are the Galaxy coins you could get if you pre-ordered watch coin a notepad um a wiggler and a bowser's inside st oh yeah inside story uh beanie i got from pax long time ago and next to that we have the bioshock 2 special edition i don't think i've ever opened it i think i was like oh it's too pretty to open so my friend gave me Bioshock 2 game disc so I could at least enjoy the game but I think the collector's edition is now worth like what 20 bucks go me yay but the thing I'm really excited about is the splicer mask I won at a raffle during PAX East it's signed by the Bioshock 2 team ah <sighs> it kind of broke in route home from Boston but yeah, you'll never know never know yeah so next to that goodness we have Kilala from Inuyasha, one of my favorite animes of all time. And behind that, I have some random shit. Like, it's just random shit. I think I have some game sharks <laughs> that are just empty boxes because I had to keep the boxes. Really? Fair enough. Um, and behind that, Power Drone and uh, Super Trucks Racing. For three dollars and it came with what looks like a terrible PlayStation 2 controller. Alright, and next to that, hi Dragon Age, looking good. Uh, I guess, actually, let's go with this side first. So I have multiple consoles and thought it would be cool to put them on display because I thought it would be cool. But anyway, so yeah, they're just chilling up there, they're above all of this other stuff, so say hi. But next to that, we have an RDR and a Halo Wars game box. I got these at garage sales, actually. I didn't get them from GameStop or anything. But RDR is one of my favorite games of all time, so I just had to have it. Below that is one of the main focus points of my woman cave. Bunch of my games. When I first got this shelf, I tried to keep it organized, you know, by system. PlayStation, you know, Atari, N64, Super Nintendo, but... As I accumulated more and more stuff, it just kind of became difficult to do so. Um, so, as you can tell down here, things just kind of haphazardly thrown about. Really didn't have any room for these. I have some wee condoms over there. Like, seriously. Some Saturn shit. Some PC stuff. Some guides. <laughs> oh god, I have a problem. So, anyway my baby. I love it so much. What am I stepping on? Wah! Shit! No! Alright, and above that I have more boxes on display. Just, you know, boxes. That's all. Yep. Boxes. So cool. Below the exciting boxes is my favorite posters ever. Final Fantasy IX. Like, probably my top five favorite games. It's just that freaking good. 
So we have the Zidane action figure, Final Fantasy Dissidia calendar, which I was really excited for Dissidia because Zidane had a, a voice in it, right? And he was always my crush growing up. Too bad he's only 16 and I'm like 25 now. So now it's just creepy. Final Fantasy IX soundtrack, Zidane action figure, another Zidane action figure. Yeah, I don't know about you, but there's a pattern. I'm noticing a pattern. Unfortunately, I missed out on the other uh, Final Fantasy IX action figures. I never got them. Something I'll probably have to fork over the money and do. But, little mini Final Fantasy shrine. Below that is a little Resident Evil thing that's going on. Not a lot. Just Resident Evil 5, Collector's Edition. You got four in there. Um, my other Resident Evil stuff is in my new place, so it's not that impressive right now. 3D glasses. I think these are from one of the Sony press conferences at E3. I don't know why they're here, but nonetheless, there they are. And this used to be a little Halo shrine of mine, uh, but all my Halo stuff is in my new place, so... Okay, something just fell. I think that was the calendar. Watch! <laughs> Fuck, everything's falling apart. Anyway, so this was the... Uh, <laughs> Halo 3 ODST launch event that was at the EMP, which is in Seattle, which is where I live, so it's like convenient. E3 2012. Oh, that was so cool. I really wanted that thing. What's this? I think it's a helmet. ODST helmet. Oh, it's a helmet stand thing. Okay, that's cool. And there's a lot of dust on that. Uh, another badge and some Halo sticker okay I'm not even gonna go there so okay yeah and below that is my clusterfuck crowded Pokemon shrine let's see so we have battling coin game which I remember I think I got this at a garage sale and it was in one of my garage sale videos uh this I'm really excited about it's not a first edition but it's a sealed Pokemon you know booster pack box of awesomeness Someday I'll open it, but I just can't bring myself to do it now. Pokemon plushies, action figures, books, <laughs> games, more books. Uh, these are soaps, so that's pretty freaking cool. Below that is a shrine that shouldn't even be like dubbed a shrine because it's essentially just the God of War 3 Ultimate Edition, a book, and a lanyard that I got at PAX. But yeah. And Donkey Konga. An NES in the box, which is really exciting, and an Execute, which must have fallen from the shrine, but that's cool. You know, I really like Execute. I don't know why. I think it's because of this little, like, deformed fucker right here. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Go back. Anyway, so, uh, we have an NES in the box, which is really, really exciting and awesome, and then we have a Crack in Time inflatable awesomeness that I think I got this at Pack Ham. Limp dick. Anyway. Uh, this is <laughs> I had nowhere for this, so this is why it ended up there. We have a power glove, which is awesome and sweating, full of bacteria. And then another one of my reservoir game shelves. I think a lot of these, actually some of these are pretty good. Um, oh shit, a lot of these are good. Never mind, I thought these were going to be all the... You know, like the sports games you find, which I don't buy anymore, but I did at one point when I was first hunting for video games and I was obsessed and I would buy anything that had PlayStation slapped on it. Below that, we have some Xbox games, some 360 games. Below that, we have some GameCube and PlayStation 2 games. I'm going to have to try to like squeeze down here. Ugh, okay. PSP, DS, a bunch of other games. There's my uh, Oracle of Ages which is sealed because I never played it because I'm a loser. But I just got this, I think it was ages, in uh, A Link Between Worlds. I think you get a download code for it. I think it's ages, not seasons. But anyway, so we got more games and then uh, more haphazardness going on. These are all my memory cards from the PlayStation and uh, GameCube and all that good stuff. God, I have a lot of shit. Okay. Uh, below the hut. More Pokemon stuff. Uh, I assume this has PlayStation discs in it. I can figure out how to open it. Yeah! MLB. Ooh, Wild Arms. Warcraft. Tekken. Crash Final Fantasy 7 or 8. My bad. 
Gauntlet Legends. Yes. Such a good game. This is really sad. I'm sure at one point in ew. I knew it was in here, but obviously I don't anymore. That's what happens when you have too much shit. Pokemon cards in a box with Half-Life on top of it. And more Pokemon stuff. And a oh, I ordered this? And I think this was sent to me, because I don't, okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so next to that, has some Sonic shot glasses, a Kirby patch, some Genesis games, some Genesis games, and some Genesis games. And below that, more Genesis games, and some Sega Saturn games. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Oh, hello. There's me. Terrible glare is terrible. Anyway, so I, my aunt, this is one of her favorite games, and she told me I need to get it. So, I bought a Saturn and I bought this game. Haven't really played it yet. It's too bad because it was expensive, but someday I'll get to it. Oh god, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to like step back so you can see this. So unfortunately it's kind of covered up by the extra game shelves. But it's a Majora's Mask cloth poster thing. I'm slightly exhausted guys, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Two more big shelves left. We got this. And next to that, are you getting sick of me saying that? Uh, we have a Virtual Boy, which I don't know if I've ever tried firing that up. I really should. Bayonetta. Oh, oh God. Oh God, all right. Sorry, excuse all the dust on the desk. It's gross, I know. Bayonetta. Replica, I love, love, love this game. So much fun. I love the over-the-top sexuality. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Can't wait for the sequel. Uh, okay, then we have Pikachu. And next to that, a sealed booster pack. Pokemon booster, booster pack. <laughs> a sealed Pokemon booster pack from the original. Got it for $3 at a garage sale. Um... I haven't opened it, I haven't had the heart to open it, but uh, maybe one day. Below that is my collection of Nintendo Power magazines. I think I have almost all of them. Starting, there we are. So, I, at one point I was like, I need more stuff to collect. So I just decided to collect Nintendo Power magazines. Um, don't have all of them, but I have a majority of them. Then down here are more, I think these are other magazines. Yeah, yep, yep, because everyone needs some uh, extra magazines. Below that is a, a random Genesis, because I guess I had nowhere else to put it, so it's like living right here. That's cool. And a poster, apparently. All right, what's this? Oh, Dragon Sogma. So behind all of that are just random magazines, it looks like. Top secret stuff. Uh, before I'd ever been to my first E3, it was always a bucket list item of mine. So I went <laughs> online and bought the uh, daily, you know, magazines that they hand out. Now I've been a few times, so it's just kind of funny that I actually paid these. Paid for these. Oh, look at this one. E3 1999 directory. That is hilarious. I don't know if I've ever actually read this. Oh, this is cool. So Skies of Arcadia is another one of my favorite games. And when I was young, I didn't have a player's guide for it. And you know, I wanted to get all like the swashbuckler choices and good shit like that. So I made this and it served me well. The end. Hope you enjoyed the tour of Brittany Brombacher. What? Alright, so we're going to go across the room. Say hello to the Pac-Man blinds if you can see him. And the woman cave. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So we'll start with my World of Warcraft Cataclysm. And that door is going to shut and cock block me. Alright, let's, let's not, let's try to shut. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have... To, I just stepped on something. Don't know what it was. Okay. 
Final Fantasy Dissidia poster. Uh, again, focusing on you right there, man. Too bad you're not like 10 years older because now I just look like a big fucking creep. Well, Squall's old enough, I think. And Titus, 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 whatever you call him. Then we have my Uncharted 2 poster. I got this at the Uncharted 2 Seattle cinema event where you could go like four days early and play the game and get your own copy at a movie theater and you got to play the game on the big screens and everything. Super cool. Next to Nathan Drake's hotness is my signed Max Brooks uh, Zombie Survival Guide poster, which is lesson number six. Get up the staircase, then destroy it. One of my favorites ever. I don't know why I'm just obsessed with that. Anyway, he signed it right there. And he said to Brittany, so apparently in the zombie apocalypse, I'm going to get a mullet and wield an axe and destroy staircases. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool fate. Next to those bad boys, just a Mario cloth poster thing, whatever the official name of those are. A Wii U handbag. I got this at the launch at Best Buy. Um, and then we have another cabinet to go through. Aren't you excited? Alrighty, so we have a Harvest Moon cow and a Harvest Moon horse. Harvest Moon, one of my favorite series. Something really, really satisfying about building a farm and banging the village girls. I don't know. Uh, I used to watch Tenchi all the time, and I found this at a garage sale, like everything else here. So I had to pick that up. My good buddy Rich gave me this, man, five years ago? Was it? No, it could have been that long. I don't know, but he gave me a long time ago, and it's one of my favorite things ever. I have it, like, glued, so I don't know how I'm going to get it off of this, but we'll see. World of Warcraft. Yeah, I used to binge on that game all the time. And then next to that is my Majora's Mask Goron action figure, which I got for 10 bucks at GameStop, I think. In any case, um, I guess these things are really really rare now and last I checked someone paid like 500 for one I don't know if that's like legit or not but I, I can't open it now I mean you look at all that dust ew below all of that we have more board games and a double player which I've never utilized <laughs> oh god this dust sucks so yeah there's my other uh, Legend of Zelda board game I need to, I guess. And Donkey Kong Country Pog. Did anyone play this thing? It was so much fun. It was so fun. I just remember building it because when you build it, it's all like, okay, hold on. Yeah, look at that. And it was just so awesome. And I guess it just made me feel like I was actually in the game for some reason because I've always been weird. Right. Then your usual Nintendo Wopoly, Pokemon Master Trainer, and the Halo Interactive Strategy Game. Tried playing Halo once, but the person I was playing with was a butt and didn't want to play it. So, boo. And I think I have two of these Pokemon Master Trainers. Oh, it's not focusing. And I do. Right on. That's that's great. Alright. <laughs> Over here, we have uh, Super Saiyan Trunks. Which is quite possibly one of the scariest things I've ever uh, seen. Um, so hold on. Let me see if I can, like... You pull down his, like, rubber super... This is really hard with one hand. Rubber, like, Super Saiyan thing. And then there there he is. And there's... There's nothing attractive about that. He's just not a good-looking guy. And the action figure. But in, 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 in the, you know, in, this, in Dragon Ball Z, he's pretty good-looking. To the right are some Red Dead Redemption playing cards. I have three packs. I don't know why. But, um... <laughs> When I obsess over a game, I really like it. I end up buying, like, anything and anything to do with it, which is how I end up with so much shit. So, some pretty cool old-school looking cards. There, you know, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, there. There we go. This is... Oh, my God. A Project Natal animal. It's like one of those connectimals or something. That is so funny. Below the games. My pride and joy. My baby, the Uncharted 2 Collector's Edition. I got, I think I got this several years ago. Well, I know I got it several years ago Um, when IGN was having their Haiti charity event. And I think it was an auction. 
and I think I paid like $900 for it. Here's that movie cinema Uncharted 2 event pass thing. So, you, know, you know, to go play the, the game on the big screen. This is what we had to wear. It's pretty cool. Contestants. And then next to that, we have the Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition, a lanyard, a CD, just Uncharted goodness all around. Below that is a shelf dedicated to little Nick Nacules. Got a World of Warcraft griffin over here, which I think you got some sort of special, like, extra fail uh, content. Uh, Final Fantasy IX action figures. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of them have been knocked over. No! Not Zidane. Yeah. There you go. Donkey Kong, Yoshi, uh, GameStop. These are actually all gift card holders. But I thought they were cool, so I bought them. Below that are some of my uh, knuckles, some of my player's guides. At one point, I tried to alphabetize these. I don't know how well that's lasted. I collect these like I do games because they're cool, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. So that wraps up like the main room of stuff, but that's not all. Okay. On the left, we have a Sweet Tooth action figure that I believe I found at ZombieCon because that's where you get your Twisted Metal action figures at a zombie conference. Twisted Metal has been one of my favorite series since I was man, in elementary school. Twisted Metal 2 is my favorite. Some of you who have watched my videos in the past may recognize this empty Final Fantasy 8 box. I found it at Emerald City Comic Con and I had to have it because it's an empty Final Fantasy 8 box and it's Final Fantasy 8 and therefore I had to, I had to have it. See, do you see why? Why I have so much shit. This is some Mass Effect comics that were signed by Bioware. Uh, man, PAX East, I think, last year. No, this year. This year, PAX East. Um. Oh, yes. So, Raphael, the voice actor for Caden. To Brittany, across the universe, always there with you. Love, Caden. Yeah. See that, Alistair? Wherever you are, you're over there somewhere. Got nothing. This is romance. Oh, I still have bees. Oh, no. Okay, I'm a terrible friend. So, anyway, this was at, a, I think, PAX Prime last two years ago. And, uh... My friend Bees, one of his favorite characters is Liara, and apparently I haven't given this to him yet. I should really send this off. So sorry, man. So sorry. This, oh, that's funny. This is actually Bees. <laughs> Bees and I at PAX East, uh, the first one, so that was like 2010. We're just being dorks. Over here we have the Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition, or yeah, Collector's Edition. Got it from Target. That was a snafu and it pissed me off because it's all like, damaged but it was only one they had so I had to had to get it. Wah wah. Then we have some Mass Effect books, the actual game, the collector's edition, uh a tattoo and seven tattoo. I have more Mass Effect stuff in my room in this apartment, but I have nowhere to put it. Yeah, story of my life. Below that awesomeness uh, more Nintendo Power magazines. Right. Because everybody needs Nintendo Power magazines. Below that, we have more player's guides and books. Like the official guide to Mega Man. <laughs> Below that, even more player's guides. Oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. God. Why? Why, Brit? Above the shelf. Um, right. More consoles, more boxes, um, more stuff. Booby pillows. Uh, okay, let, let's see if we can. Ooh. PlayStation box that must have gotten kicked out. Right. Booby pillows, uh, dance mats, power pad. Those things were fun though. Uh, 
um, I guess, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, it never ends, people, it never ends, ah, help. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that about wraps up the woman cave, uh, I, I mean, I knew I had a lot of stuff, but I don't think until I actually, like, dug through it did I really realize how much I had. And now I have the extreme pleasure of packing all of this up and getting it to my new place today. So, this will this will be fun. But thank you for watching, and I'm going to go cry myself to sleep in a corner now and hope to wake up and all of this has taken care of itself, because that would be swell. Yay, video games!